Google first mapped the streets of the world. Now it's unveiled its plan as it mapped several different oceans. And we want to talk about the weather impacts and the connection there. Google Maps just released its first ever panoramic images. And the project director, Richard Vivers, joins us live via Skype from Monterey, California this morning to talk about these maps and how exactly they went about doing this. Richard, first of all, thanks for waking up as early as you have on the West Coast. We appreciate it. Let's first talk about how you went about doing this. No problem. Um, well, we designed a, um, a specific camera um, to get underwater 360 degree panoramic images, uh, which we take every four seconds as we're going along underwater. Um, and these are all then stitched together to create what is essentially a virtual dive. So why do this? Um, it's essentially a scientific project uh, to create a baseline for coral reefs. Um, it's information that we, we simply don't have on a, on a large scale. Um, so we're trying to cover off uh, as much of the Great Barrier Reef this year and then taking the project globally next year. So what oceans do, have you mapped and are you going to map? Well, we've done a pilot study um, so far on the southern end of the Great Barrier Reef um, to three islands, Heron Island, uh, Lady Elliot Island and Wilson Island. Um, we're carrying out the rest of the survey up the Great Barrier Reef this year up until December, going to 20 locations. And we've also gone to do some invest, um, investigation studies um, over in the Philippines and in Hawaii. Now, there's a big connection. I know it's for the reefs, but there's a big connection between the oceans and the weather. How is this project going to help uh, understanding that connection? Well, it's all about getting a, um, a better understanding of our oceans. And as you know, our oceans yeah, control our, our weather. Um, we need to get a much, much better, um, much clearer understanding of what's going on. And this is trying to provide the, the baseline that will allow, allow us to analyze change over time. Um, so it is, it is a vital record, and uh, what we're yeah. hoping to get from this is a global reef record that will help us um, look into these uh, issues in the future. All right, we only have 30 seconds, so the coolest thing that you've seen so far. Well, the best thing about the project is, um, well, it's a lot of fun when you're underwater with uh, underwater scooters because a lot of the megafauna interact with you. So we had, um, a couple of weeks ago, big manta rays five meters across coming out and checking out their, their reflections in the, uh, in the dome ports uh, of the camera. All right, that's really cool. Richard, thanks so much for coming on the show, and hopefully we'll have you back to talk more about the information that you've gathered from these cameras.